Hatchet. Chris, Chris Hatchet. Chris, Chris Hatchet. Chris, I like I like Harry Potter a lot. When I'm having sex, I like to uh, pull out, and right before I come into his face, I say erecto patronum. Not with me. Uh, Not with me, you guys. Uh, I'm kicking around in my room. I'm. They're just jokes. They're just jokes. They're just jokes. Stop fucking with his girlfriend. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I uh, I found out last week I'm pregnant. <laughs> that was all me. I, I didn't. My girlfriend came inside me and I didn't take the morning after pill. So. <laughs> the worst part is that the baby is now like kicking my testicles. From the <laughs> when you when you have cuts on your hands and you like put hand sanitizer on, that's the worst, right, guys? <laughs> no, I don't agree with that. The Holocaust was the worst. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> There's a, there's a, there's an island near Sweden, and they celebrate this holiday called Sunaklaus, where they pretty much, the grown men dress up like dolls, and they beat the shit out of their wife and kids. So it's a lot like Alabama. <laughs> Except all of those, it's closet homosexuality, Alabama versus clearly just outward homosexuality. <laughs> um, the last few weeks I haven't been very prepared when I got on stage. I just got a new job recently. See, you would have clapped if you had known that I hadn't worked in over a year, and then I was like, I think I'll go get a job. <laughs> so, uh, generally when I come up here, I have jokes in mind and I'm not prepared. Uh, in the last two weeks, I wasn't prepared and I didn't have jokes in mind. And all of those jokes that I told you just now are jokes I thought of today. So I don't have any more material left. So now I'm just going to talk about stuff. I feel like I've won you over already. Pretty much anything I say from this point is going to be golden. I'm going to text really quick, you guys. Until I say so, you can talk some to yourselves. Huh? All right. What? So, Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, whatever. Hold on. Oh, uh, so a few weeks ago, before I got this job, I started applying for jobs. And one of the places I applied at, if you two keep giving me commentary right now, I swear to God, I will piss in your cars. Do it. Tim's not in here, is he? Nope. Okay, Tim is a cop, <laughs> and none of you heard what I just said to them. <laughs> so, okay, I'm done interacting with the crowd for now. Shut up. I was filling out job applications, and a lot of applications say, "Have you been convicted of a felony in the last seven years? If so, describe in full." So I just wrote rape. Because <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Next week, or during, like at my job, I can't have my phone out, so I can't write my new material down. I just have to try and remember it, and I have a horrible memory. Uh, I, I think most comedians do, just because we think of, well, that's really pretentious to compare myself to other comedians. But the point is, the point is that I have trouble remembering shit, so give me a second. Damn. They have about 40 of them. Oh, okay. Uh, I was with my friends recently, and uh, they, have a, they have a daughter, a little four-year-old white daughter. And I was riding around with them. I was in the back seat with their daughter, and their daughter looks at me and says, Chris, you're my best friend. And I said, we're not even regular friends. 